Hey everybody, what's up? You know, I was just watching a video by XBA325, I haven't watched all of it yet, but he's talking about the same thing everybody's talking about, and you can see it up there in the titles. 22111, and the question is, who is it? Well, let's take a look at what some people have said. We've had some people analyze the promo video. We've had some people use their DVR, use their DVD recorders to stop the video and slowly, frame by frame, try to get a clue as to who it is. Now some people have said, according to what XBA said, that some people analyze the 221 getting burned into the wall kind of deal and that when the smoke goes up it almost says sting and it's got a scorpion, the two looks like a scorpion. Okay. First of all, the two likely choices when it comes to this promo are either Sting or The Undertaker. Now if it is Sting, that would be great because then Vince McMahon would have done what nobody else thought he could do and that's get Sting into the company and thus have every single person that's been a WCW guy now be part of the WWE. It's the only thing I can think of. And when you think about it, it also makes logical sense if it is, because WrestleMania is in Atlanta, the Hall of Fame's in Atlanta, add those two together, you get the idea. Now some are saying that it may not be Sting. Some are saying it could be The Undertaker. Okay, it might be The Undertaker, uh, especially with the fact that one of the posters at the Save Mart Center in Fresno, California, said featuring the return of The Undertaker in the same from what I read, the same kind of lettering that we saw those numbers in on the promo or on that teaser video. But then, all of a sudden, I was reading an online uh, report on the Bleacher Report, and the person said, and this person said that yes, it could be Sting, it could be Undertaker, but then they pointed out two other names. Two other names that have really haven't gotten to us. Now one of them is probably a far, probably a long shot, but then again, knowing WWE, they always like to keep it mysterious. One name is Awesome Kong. Okay, let's not forget, it wouldn't be the first time WWE's ever done a teaser promo for a debuting diva into the company or debuting female wrestler. They did it with Gail Kim back in 2004. And they did recently in the past year or so with her coming back. Get what I'm saying? So it wouldn't be suffice to say it couldn't be Kong. And Kong's not the kind of typical diva that you know needs all the flash and everything, all the flashy and lights and all that. She's the kind that would match what that teaser promo was like. Now Another name that's come up is Tyler Black, a.k.a. Seth Rollins. Now the person that talked about that, mentioned that name, said this is not a bad, that wouldn't be a bad way to debut someone like Tyler. But we don't know yet. I mean, knowing WWE, they might bring Tyler in and make him part of the new Nexus, or make him part of the core. But then again, they could do exactly what they said. They could debuted him in this manner and it would be huge. It would be basically WWE's way of saying, hey, we're putting a lot of stock in this guy, we've got a lot of faith in this guy, this guy's going to be the next big thing for the company. Okay. But right now, the two more logical choices, the two of the more higher up choices, you know, uh, you know go towards the likes of Sting and The Undertaker. Now why do they go towards Sting and The Undertaker? Because Sting and The Undertaker match those descriptions. Now, XBA did say something though. He said anytime The Undertaker comes back, we get the lightning, we get static, we get the hand coming up, and people know. Okay. That's true. Here we had rain. Here we had lightning. Here we had a guy in a trench wearing a trench coat that does a lot more dirtier than The Undertaker's boots that didn't even match the Undertaker's walking towards this house. So you would think, is it Sting? Again, the thing about WWE, which I'll give them credit for, is they throw you off. 
They always do. Now he did mention that when Chris Jericho came back, people at first didn't know what, what, what the whole code thing was until they started to try to break it and then they figured, oh, it's Chris Jericho. Okay. All right. You know, that that's, all right. People, you know, people did figure that out. But again, but again, WWE always has a way of throwing us off. It may look like Sting, it may seem like it looks like The Undertaker, but it could be somebody different. It could be Kong. It could be Seth Rollins, a.k.a. Tyler Black. We don't know. You know, somebody's even saying, hey, it could be Chris Jericho. He's just reinventing himself. First of all, you think they're going to let Chris Jericho drop the whole Y2J deal? Or the Break the Walls deal? I don't think so. That's what made him a name, and they're not going to let that happen. Again, the more logical choices, according to some, is Sting and The Undertaker. And possibly, if it's not them, and WWE is throwing us a curveball, it could be Kong, it could be Tyler Black. You never know. You never know. See, that's the one thing you got to watch out for. Heck, it could be... It, hell, here's a name. It could be Skip Sheffield. Remember, Skip Sheffield had sort of a cowboy-like deal. A Western-like attitude. Could be him. But I don't know. You see, the more logical choices right now, the more logical or talked about and favorable names right now for who it could be are Sting and The Undertaker. Now, XBA said that did say that why would it be the Undertaker when you need to have him you know come back and put a closure to this whole thing with being buried alive by Nexus and by Wade Barrett especially with the fact that Undertaker scheduled to face Wade Barrett at Wrestlemania you get what I'm saying so whoever it is two favorable names like I said are under, uh, Sting and Undertaker or two new names that came up on one of the reports are Kong and Tyler Black and hey, it could be somebody else. It could be, like I said, it could be Sheffield, for what we know. But those are the four names, like I mentioned, that will be talked about, with the two favorable ones being Sting and Undertaker, while the two other ones are Kong and Tyler Black. So that's just my thought on it. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you think I'm right, if I'm wrong. You know, because it could be anybody, but those four names, with the two top ones, Sting and Undertaker being the most favorable, with Kong and Tyler Black being added in, Tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it could be one of the four. Tell me if you think WWE is going to throw us a curveball and make it somebody else like Kong or Tyler Black. Tell me what you guys think, and I will talk to you all later. God bless. Take care. I'm out.